Hello everyone, I'm Gary York, retired from Corrections in Florida with 28.5 years, and I was asked the question of why is corrections a profession and not a job? And there are many reasons why corrections is a profession and not a job. A job is something people go out and do when they need money to pay their bills, but it's not really what they like to do, or it may not be something long term, and they're doing it out of necessity just a job to get some payment so that they can survive. But a profession such as corrections is something that has to have specialized training. So professions are jobs that must have specialized training. So with that said, corrections is definitely a profession and not just a job. Because in corrections, we have to go to an academy to learn special skills. We have to learn uh, first aid. We have to learn basic firefighter skills. Uh, in our academy, we went to the uh, fire department training center and we uh, did several things in fire training. Uh, we had medics come out to teach us first responder and first aid uh, and CPR. We also, as corrections officers, have to learn and specialize ourselves in weapons Every agency has different weapons. Uh, a couple of agencies I worked at, we had the uh, Glock 40 and the shotgun, and we had to qualify with both of those. Self-defense is mandatory and retraining every year for that. Report writing is just another one. Life-saving skills, suicide uh, classes. We have to know how to watch for suicide. We have to know and have communication skills to hopefully de-escalate situations with inmates, care, custody, and control of inmates. We have evacuation training, and these are just a few. I've mentioned a long list, and there's still more. How much more specialized can you get? So that is our profession. We also uh, have a um, code, a work ethics code, or a code of ethics, and a specialized agency with specialized skills most definitely has to have a code of ethics, and Corrections does, and we're sworn to follow that. Just more proof that we're a profession. And the Corrections uh, field sets a high standard with that code of ethics, and we're to follow that. And many, many jobs that you have across our country are much needed, and we're sure glad to have them, and we're glad for the people that work in them, but they are not specialized and they're not a profession. Uh, the skills that we learn in corrections is a life or death situation learning skill. In other words, everything we do every day in corrections, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's a possibility for injuries every day and death. So we have to be specialized and learn our skills to protect not only our lives as officers, but the lives of the prison staff that work in the prison with us, the civilian staff, to protect our communities, which is our number one goal. We are here as a profession in corrections to protect the community and the innocent citizens outside on the streets. And we also have the big responsibility of care, custody, and control and protecting the inmates. inmates. So we have many responsibilities in our profession. Now, what will the profession do in return to us after we give 20 years for some, 25 years for other states, and some of the states may have 30-year retirement? Well, this profession, once completed, can give you a full pension, a retirement check monthly. Many states, like the state here in Florida, have the DROP program where your last five years, after 25 years, you can remain in the occupation, uh, you retire and then go on the drop, and they'll match your paycheck for five years. And you leave the department with a retirement check monthly and a nice nest egg for when you get older. Other departments uh, across the state have the drop program, and those that don't have the drop program, you can go on a work, uh, deferred comp, uh, nationwide is a big one for deferred comp. And if you just put $50 a paycheck for your 25-year career and leave it alone, 
you will have a huge nest egg. You'll have medical, dental, and vision benefits and for your family and you. And when you retire, you can keep these benefits with you. In the state of Florida, we keep them up to age 65. And then we go on Medicare and Medicaid. So it is a profession. And it can be rewarding. How else can this profession of corrections reward you? I know many, many people that are my friends today that I go fishing with that decided they never wanted to put in for promotion. They enjoyed their job on the front line and they did it for 25, 28, and 30 years. Other people I know wanted to advance in their career and they would advance to sergeant and lieutenant and captain and so forth and even higher. And I have friends that when I was a prison inspector in Florida that were just young officers who today right now are wardens at a prison in Florida. So you can advance in corrections. Let me tell you, 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 you stay honest, you have integrity, you work hard, you show up to work, you do what you're supposed to do, you have a good head on your shoulders, you will advance in corrections. Because as we all know, unfortunately, the turnover rate's a little bit high and we have staff shortage. But you hang in there and keep with the job and it will pay off. You will get promoted and you will get to where you want to be. Now, many of the system, the state systems and county systems also provide you some type of college education benefit. They may pay half of it. They may pay the books. They may pay all of it as long as you make a C or above. It depends on what your state does. So you can advance your college education or you can get a college education through your agency. And there are many in-agency programs that you can take these classes to help advance yourself with modern technology and corrections to keep you up to date. There are so many things that you can do in the profession of corrections. So keep your head up and I want to thank everyone who works in this profession for doing what you do and walking the line and protecting us. I'm retired now from corrections so you're protecting me now and I appreciate it very much and I want everybody to be safe. Please, God bless and thank you.